Hi, welcome to Sekiro. We are doing a Sheena Castle, the antechamber. Uh, if you're not sure how to get here, click the I in the top right for links to videos in the playlist. Uh, if there are bits you want to jump to specifically, hit show more in the description. There's a few different things we're up to here. This is one of your best farming spots uh, currently in the game. Um, it's easy to backstab these guys and also your only source of divine confetti. If you're going to be farming a lot, you can smash those barriers down. Come through here, backstab this dude. There's an old lady over there, you can pretty much walk up to the side of her. If you don't get a stealth attack on her, just hit her once. Don't do a death blow when you're facing her, because the guys in the room to the left will be alerted. And then come around and gank that guy in the back. Uh, then you can just run back to the idol, you'll see a couple of guys over there. But you can pretty much just run back to the idol, reset, uh, and that is a decent farming route. Uh, if you smash those walls down, you can come up here. You also want to practice fighting against these guys. There's going to be a few fights here, so just knowing what you're doing, especially if you get overwhelmed by a few of them, is going to be super helpful. The general rhythm is attack, deflect, attack, and then just deflect the rest, and they should go down, although I make a complete mess of this. Uh, these guys also have an Ichimonji attack, um, so they will damage your posture, and they have a thing which regains posture. But that was pretty filthy. Um, you can see I got him eventually. Uh, it's definitely worth just a little bit of time practicing against these guys. This one's much cleaner. Attack, deflect. Try and deflect all the rest of the incoming ones. Attack and then just uh, sometimes they'll do uh, 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 thrust, which you can carry counter pretty easily or perfect deflect. But generally get an attack to open up their pattern and then you can just deflect everything that comes in. If they back off, uh, just put one more attack in and they'll start attacking again. Uh, that wasn't the cleanest either, but let's get on with the mission. Um, you are going to fight these guys. Uh, obviously try and backstab them if you can. Um, this one doesn't go brilliantly. The old lady over there somehow doesn't notice at all. You see, I just leave her and don't make her scream because the guys inside the room um, just ahead of us will hear if you do a death blow that close. I'm also surprised they're not hearing this combat. Um, and there's really no need to fight these guys, right? I'm just showing you that uh, some of their moves, how to deal with them. Um, don't over attack. It's like most enemies in this game. Don't overcommit. Anyway, up here there's a guy you can run up to and backstab. Uh, and this is where you'll need to be a little bit practiced for the fight because you, unless you run away and hide, I guess, um, you're going to have to fight one of these guys. So it's good to practice on the first one because he's in a localized room. Other people generally won't hear the fight. You can get a sense of their moveset. Uh, there's a sugar and I think some scrap iron there. Uh, and then a hidden wall here with 600 coins in the form of two coin purses and a prayer bead. So don't miss those. You'll have to run through this uh, divider thing, screen, uh, to get the bulging or the heavy coin purse, whatever the 500 one is. And there's the prayer bead. Uh, head back through here, and then we're going to come around and open a door. But the way to get to the door is up here. There's a Gaijin Sugar right in front of you there. Mm. Uh, and then come around the corner. Now there's an old lady here who sometimes, the first time through, if you've come through quickly especially, she'll be walking from the door. You can shuriken her from there, that's fine. Those guys seemingly won't be bothered by it. Uh, but if you come through really quickly, she might be coming through. See, she's not there. Oh no, where are you? Uh, and I always go to the right here and then get stuck on this geometry, but uh, there she is there. So uh, you can shuriken her wherever she is, but just be wary that she will, if she sees you, she'll alert the guards in the next room and there's two of them and that could get messy. Now here you can use a ceramic stone, it's kind of icky, um, you're honestly probably off just doing a drop kill on the first guy, but just for the purposes of completion. These sort of young looking dudes can be quite rough, they've got quite low posture, but they've got a couple of quite devastating attacks, so don't expect them to be like the other fellas. And see this guy here, he's just one of the regular Ashina Castle dudes, the guy with his back to us, so he only takes two hits. So if there's a way that you can engineer it, and you see you might have to throw quite a lot of ceramic shard from a very specific place. If you can get him to come down, uh, do a stealth kill on him and then pull the other guy back before you engage. Don't do a drop kill, because again, the noise will draw the guards from the other room. Um, try not to get right up against the wall, because it can be super hard to see what's going on like that. And even though that guy only takes one good deflect, I still made a bit of a mess of it. Uh, you can see here, this is another approach, throwing the ceramic shard. Seems to be that you have to throw it from about there to get the guy to advance. Uh, but killing this guy, um, again, don't do the death blow there if you're in combat. Uh, back up, try not to get your back right up against the wall. And you can always, um, slide around him, like dodge to the side so your back isn't against the wall and his is, if you prefer. You can see these guys have like a flurry of attacks, a couple of um, uh, a couple of unbreakables in that if you hit them it won't affect their posture and they'll still attack through it. But for the most part they're a little bit like uh, the regular blue coats with one of the general flurries. They shouldn't give you too much trouble as long as you're not taking them on in big groups. Um, so make sure to separate them. Open that door so you've now got a shortcut. I always think there's an item behind those screens, but there never is. Anyway, when you're done with that, carry on through here. There's some steps here, 
with a Mibu Balloon of Wealth there. Carry on up. Uh, there's another item there. Uh, get this Ashina Dojo Idol. In there, there's a mini boss. He's actually pretty straightforward. He's terrifying the first time you meet him, but well-timed blocks or an umbrella will finish him off. Another item there, there's a remnant there that you can uh, interact with eventually if you get the angle just right. And then come down here and as long as you haven't rested, these two guys will be here uncontested. If you've rested, just be aware that any fight you have may draw the other two that you just fought in from the other room. So try and avoid resting there where possible. Once you have uh, a little bit more ninjutsu after you've uh, fought Genichiro, uh, packs of two actually become very easy. But for the time being, you'll just have to face off against this guy. Uh, don't forget, if you're struggling with these guys, firecrackers, fire, uh, spear to pull them in. I mean, all sorts of things work. Umbrella on their blocks, uh, poison. Uh, this is a slightly cleaner run of it. You want to, there you go, attack, deflect, attack, deflect. Boop, done. Um, anyway, deal with them however you want, uh, and you'll notice that that is a breakable wall. So grab the ceramic shard. There's three Tengu assassins through here who are kind of a pain. I tried a bunch of stuff. I tried Gaichin Sugar. I tried sneaking up on them with ceramic shards. But basically, as soon as you get within range of doing anything meaningful, they're all going to aggro. The most effective way I've found to do this is just firecrackers. Um, hit a couple of times, firecracker to keep the others at bay, focus one down. Um, once you're down to two of them, it becomes a little more manageable. If you've got health back from death blow, that'll help a bit too. Back up here, hopefully only one of them will follow you for a little bit. I should have used firecrackers there to create an opening for my heal. Uh, there we go, firecrackers. Uh, and then I'm picking on one, and I nearly get his posture up, and then for some reason I change targets, so I've got no idea why. Um, but now they're both backed into a corner, which at least makes things a little bit easier. And now we've just got one, you can just keep the pressure on, just hit, 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 and eventually their posture will break. Uh, the Nightjar attack uh, really helps here because it helps you close distance when they back off like that, um, which is quite nice. But the trick is just don't let them get to range. Uh, you can also just run in, um, go super aggressive, uh, and again, just focus one down. Keep eyes on that one, get them against a wall if you can. Um, but yeah, just overuse of fireworks to keep the one that you're not attacking suppressed. And again, once you're down to one, just keep pushing him into a corner. Um, and as soon as they're up against a wall, it's pretty much over. With that done, there's an eel liver here. And I want to say pellets. Pellets uh, there. And a note from Ishina up there, or Ishin or whatever his name is, um, which says give to Emma, but Emma's not being very responsive at the moment because I killed the timid lady. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but it's definitely relevant when you have killed Genichiro. Uh, don't miss that Gaichin Sugar around the back of that house. And then up here, that's the dojo. There's a sideway round if you want to get... Well, actually, there's a light coin purse. You can't get a backstab on uh, Mr. Sake, the Ashina dude, in the dojo from here. You actually need to go in the front door and around to the other side. It's weird. I've used Gaichin Sugar and stuff in here. I think you should be able to sneak around, but for some reason you can't. So if you're going in there much deeper, you'll get a boss fight, so be wary. Just for reference up here is Genichiro. Uh, that's going to lead you to the next big boss fight and get you an attack power, but we're not heading there yet. We want to get 13 vitality just to give ourselves a bit of a window. Then you can head back to the original uh, dojo. We're going to grab uh, Sabamaru and open up the old grave idol. So drop down here. Uh, you will see three, maybe four guys, three regulars and one blue coat standing by a door. The other side of that door, I think, is Sabamaru, otherwise it's the other end, we'll find out. But uh, I generally recommend death blowing the blue coat, because he's the most difficult. Backing off to this doorway a little bit, they should then filter through one at a time. These guys only take one good deflect, although you wouldn't know it from my appalling job. There we go, one good deflect and they're down. And then the guy with the hat, you know the deal, hit once, deflect a couple of times, boop, done. Might even be just one deflect at this stage, honestly. One deflect, one hit, yeah. Uh, so finish them off. Uh, and then there's some bits and pieces to do in here. Down here, there's a door to open, which takes you back to the main general's open path. That's not a description. Do you remember the first general we fought at the top of the stairs, right by the very first idol? And there's a prayer bead there. Well, let's open that door behind him. Uh, and then through the other side where you fought the guys, there is a... I can't remember what that is. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Eel liver. Uh, prayer bead. Not prayer bead. Sabimaru. Sorry, these are poison knives. These are massively underrated. I like them a lot. There are some enemies who are very susceptible to them. Uh, and then a Gokan Sugar. Through here there's a door to open which will more or less immediately lead you to Old Grave. Uh, up here to the left, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember the previous idol, we dropped down and I said you could jump over here to Old Grave. That's where you would have jumped. Over here on the bridge, the reason I'm crouched, there's two guys watching there. Be careful. One's a mini general, even though you don't get any rewards. Hook up to this tree and then jump across here. Now this monk's a bit tricky. 
Uh, you want to make sure he doesn't see you, basically. He's pretty rough. He's got a sweep and a thrust, and it's easy to die from him. Uh, get a death blow in, uh, flying death blow, and then deal with the other guy. He gives me a lot more trouble than it really should. Like, come on, buddy. There we go. <laughs> uh, and then the idol is right there. Now, technically, because the access to Senpu Temple is before this idol, I'll show it here. I'll show it again in the old grave idol. Uh, but just, you want to be really careful just trying to backstab this monk, the way he walks and the way he turns around. Sorry, my controller disconnected here. That's why it paused, which is super annoying. Uh, but it's very easy to get caught out. And then you might accidentally go a little bit too left and the guys on the bridge see you and now they're coming in and oh, it just gets smelly. And you'll see here, um, if you do get caught in trouble, here comes the general, smacking me in the back, the mini general. Uh, wait for them to turn around. Uh, I left it a bit long there, but wait for them to get some distance. You can resuscitate and then at least backstab one. This is another safe place to run just through these doors here. Here comes the general. I'll show you this fight very quickly, but it's essentially one of the mini boss generals, but with one health bar and no armor. So he's, he will go down a little more easily, but he's got all the same moves. Uh, he's got the flurry, the overhead chop. He'll get stamina, uh, posture back. He plays that one a lot more. He's got a sweep. Uh, he's got the leaping attack, which we may see later. There's the sweep. Uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble with him, but just be wary that if there's a rifleman on you or something like that, it can get out of hand really quickly. Anyway, backstab that much. And then you want to head over to the bridge for an eavesdrop, but because we killed one of the dudes on the bridge, the eavesdrop opportunity's gone. So, uh, go back to the idol, rest, and drop down here. Speak to Black Cat Thatcher. He has got the umbrella. Uh, it is here, the Iron Fortress, so you're going to want to save up 1,600 coins, quick smart, or sell some coin purses, honestly. Um, there's nothing you need to save them for. If you've got them, use them, is my opinion. Uh, then come around here, uh, kill the monk and the rifleman, obviously, and then come up to the ladder. The ladder? That's not a ladder, it's a bridge. Eavesdrop these guys who tell you about salt, which is what Anayama the peddler wants to know, the merchant in um, in Ashina outskirts. And then normally you would want to backstab this guy, right, because he's tough. But I just wanted to show you, uh, again, his moveset. Like, you'll recognize a lot of his stuff from being a general. Also notice that rifleman on the right. There was a reason I was talking about a rifleman. Sweeps. I always fall for the sweeps. So at this point, I'm like, I need to go and kill this guy. Uh, so go kill the rifleman if you get into this mess. Uh, and then deal with the general. But yeah, you want to backstab the general. Just backstab him. See, there's the leap as well. Um, it's just, it's only 97 experience. If you don't get the backstab in, it's a fight that's just not worth the effort. Um, to put it into comparison, killing two of those blue dudes in the antechamber where we just were is worth like 150, 160 experience. And it takes about a quarter of the time at much less risk. Uh, okay, that's that done. Uh, jump down under the bridge. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, there we go. There's a Mibu balloon under there. Let's grab that. And then if you do come via the water, the way up is just by this rifleman. So that will bring you up here um, and you can get an attack on him. There's another Mibu balloon there, but jump up on top of here and then get right to the edge. Uh, there we go. And jump and grab and you'll get onto this roof. Run this way, jump and drop onto here. And there are two scrap iron down there, so don't miss those. There's also some fish in the water which you can go and kill, but not much else we can do in there until we get the Mibu breathing technique to be able to dive, which is a long way off. Anyway, down here, this is the way to uh, the Serpent Shrine. Um, monkeys, they're new, a bit like dogs. You can, even though I do a phenomenally bad job, you can use shuriken on them, you can block them, you can uh, deflect them, dodge them. Um, just run up to them, backstab them. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, and they'll give spirit emblems back. Weak to firecrackers like most animals. Don't miss the Mibu balloon there. And then carry on up here to unlock this temple. Now, if you've already fought Genichiro, Tengu will be here offering you new skills if you've unlocked one of the final forms in any of the skill trees. Uh, but we're going to head back to Old Grave and clear that. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, don't forget to go via the Sculptor, just in case you've got anything new you might want to unlock. Spring-loaded axe is never a terrible idea. Flame vent, also pretty solid. Um, but uh, check this dude. Uh, make sure that you've got the gourd off him. If you haven't already, that's 2,000 coins. Um, and then we're going to head to the stairway. Go and see Aniyama the Peddler, uh, because now we can tell him about salt. Salt, you say? Very good. I'm going to buy some and cash in. Uh, now, um, he now has for sale. Um, you got to rest first. Uh, so I just used the home of bone, but this is the way to go past the chicken and underneath there. He's now got unlimited scrap iron and uh, black powder for sale, amongst some other things. Um, I think one of the sugars he's got unlimited versions of, not the good one, sadly. 
But uh, sell whatever you need to buy any scrap I need for upgrades. You don't really ever need to buy this stuff. You can honestly farm for it with a Demon Bell active. Um, it's pretty effective. And you don't need to beat yourself up about prosthetic upgrades either. At this stage, there's nothing you need. Um, just getting the basic versions of everything should be fine. But we want to get 1,600 gold for the umbrella. Um, so I would recommend just going here. This is the most efficient farming route, just backstabbing them all and coming back and resetting. Um, if you want to get into a bit of a fight, you can. Um, I've tried to get too optimized on killing him and end up never going quite wide enough and always end up having to fight him. But I thought here I would just... Sometimes when I'm farming, I get bored of just endlessly backstabbing people. Um, and so want to lighten things up a bit here. I thought I'd take on two at once to see how I went. Answer, it wasn't desperately pretty, but it kind of worked. I lived, I got through a lot of juice. Um, they do kill me at one point uh, here. So uh, like I mentioned, wait till they have their backs turned to resurrect and you can generally get a cheeky backstab. Uh, this guy, um, you can see he's got multiple flurries, um, and if you're not ready for him, he can throw you, but his posture's low enough that a couple of decent Makiris, and it's game over. Uh, on the left, um, Ashina Castle, I guess, if you haven't done that yet. On the right, we're going to go to Old Grave. Um, clear that out. There's actually not a great deal there. There's a few bits and pieces. A bit of money um, that we'll raise for Black Hat Badger. Uh, to get the Iron Fortress and the anti-air blow text. It's not bad. Um, click the eye on the top right for the entire walkthrough playlist. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love, bye!